hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel um here's another video for you guys of course um so this video is really just an impromptu video guys so um apologies for the angle that you're getting right um so i'm currently driving so no mafia will on the phone because can't take another ticket in the day yeah, guys so um what i want to talk to you guys about is a question that many persons have been asking me um which one make more sense applying for a study permit or going ahead and just applying for express entry directly now this is a difficult question to answer and the reason why i say this is a difficult question to answer guys is because it really depends on your own unique situation and where you are in your life right now so in attempting to answer the question i'm going to tell you what i suggest but i'm being very careful to say that even though i might suggest one above the other it really doesn't necessarily mean that um it's one size fit all kind of thing right everybody have to pretty much make a decision based on the pros and the cons of doing both okay now with that said guys i also would like to say that i am no immigration consultant and whatever you hear is strictly based on my own opinion based on my experience and experience of friends and families as well yeah that's enough intro right um now let me just explain what is the express entry for those of you guys who might not know the express entry is a stream is a system that canadian immigration ircc use to get permanent residents to canada right it's separated into four um, primary stream which is the federal skill worker the canadian experience class the federal skill worker and um the federal trade worker i think are another one um so four four categories right now in order to be qualified for permanent residency and i need the express entry uh sorry the, the fourth one is the provincial nomination program or something like that don't quote me now in order to be qualified for permanent residency and i need the express entry um, pool you have to be qualified in one of those four categories right now now if you should go on the ircc website <coughs> sorry if you should go on the ircc website it's going to give you um, a breakdown of the eligibility of each of those three right when you create a profile it's going to pretty much um put you in a pool and then based on the amount of points you get then um ircc decide whether or not they should select you based on those points so those points are calculated by a number of factors your age your qualification your work experience um your english um score because of course you have to do an english test and a number of different factors contribute to the amount of points that you get now on average guys um you want to aim for over 350 points on average right now of course you have times of the year when immigration is more relaxed and persons get selected on a lower score but the more score you can get the more points you can get is better for your um immigration pretty much now that is the express entry now a canadian study permit a canadian study permit is a permit that is issued to somebody who is going to attend a canadian school college university usually right so um yeah i had to make that turn so pretty much when you apply to come to canada to study then you get a study permit that study permit allow you to go to school now when you finish school you usually get well the most common chain of action is to apply for a postgraduate work permit right now that postgraduate work permit is really your ticket to permanent residency because that postgraduate work permit is going to give you um, the canadian experience plus you would have already have the, quali um, the qualification which would make you qualify for the express entry underneath the canadian experience class right so most persons who most persons who apply to become a student don't necessarily want to be a student 
but have an end goal of becoming a permanent residence, right? Now, it's very important to note, guys, that um, the surest way, <clears throat> based on history, of becoming a permanent resident of Canada is first becoming an international student, right? When you become an international student, you go to school, you finish, you get a postgrad, it's, it's usually a very seamless transition to permanent residency. That's the first thing. So there's no guarantees, of course, and in everything you have exceptions. But speaking for the majority, speaking for the majority, um, studying usually leads to permanent residency. Okay, so in long and short, when you decide to go to school, you're making an investment into your future, right? It might delay you a year or two, depending on how long your, your, your studies are, but in the end, um, you you have a foot through the door, and only you can make your foot take out back your foot if you want. In other words, because you have a foot in the door already, right? So um, studying, that is what studying give you. Now, the question: Should you go ahead and just create an express entry profile with hopes of being selected from the pool, or should you apply for a study permit? go to school, finish school, and then hopefully become a PR after a few years. Hmm, tough decision. Which is why I said, ultimately, that is gonna be your decision and your decision only to make. What I suggest though, guys, I suggest if you can afford it, go to school. Mm -hmm. I suggest if you can afford it, go to school, do a program that can benefit you in the future, and then ride out the wave and become a permanent resident of Canada, right? Because ultimately, ultimately, although there's no guarantee, there's more guarantee to that. Now the express entry is very competitive, right? It's very competitive and millions of people create express entry profile and they are sitting and they are waiting to be selected. They do their English test, their English test expired, a lot of stuff right and they are still not selected they're not selected because you are competing with people right around the world who are creating profiles right now if it is that you had a study permit and you are working in Canada you're going to school in Canada that gives you a significant advantage above other persons who are in their own country because once you are in Canada guys um, IRCC almost try to keep you here in Canada Right? There are so many different programs and policies in place to keep you in Canada. So um, that's something that you want to consider as well. Even though going to school for many, many persons is a step back way because many of you guys watching this video right now have on a PhD, on a DHC, on a RR, whatever, one bag of alphabet behind on the name. So you guys probably wondering, why should I go back to school just to move to another country? Does it make sense? Does it not make sense? And which is why I say nobody can tell you what to do, but ultimately it comes down to what you want to do as an individual. You have to decide. You have to decide, say boy, um, sure or unsure <laughs> kind of thing. You understand, guys? Only you can make that decision. And as I said, I suggest that if you can afford it, go to school because it's a surer pathway to becoming a permanent residency. When you invest, you are investing into your future. You are investing into um, something that um, that you see yourself in the future, pretty much, right? You're, you're, you're literally paying all this money so that you can reap the benefits in the future. So definitely, definitely consider that. Anyways, that's them stock 101. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe, like, share, and leave a comment. It really helps me out. See you guys in the next video. Bye.